Hello to everyone and this is Inrik and KU. This is the Mastering Ladder Safety, a comprehensive tutorial series on ANSI standards of 14.1 to a 14.5 which includes the portable wood ladders, portable metal ladders, fixed ladders, job made wooden ladders and portable reinforced plastic ladders. Each part of the series will cover a specific ANSI standard and provide detailed guidelines on how to use ladders safely and effectively. By the end of the series, viewers will have a comprehensive understanding of ladder safety and be able to apply the knowledge to their work or personal life. In this part 3 of Mastering Ladder Safety focuses on ANSI A14.3, which provides guidelines for the design, construction, testing, labeling, and safe use of fixed ladders. This video shall provide all the answers for the questions related to materials, rungs, rails, cleats, labeling, load capacity, length and angles related to fixed ladders. ANSI A14.3 is a safety standard developed by the American National Standards Institute ANSI, that provides guidelines for the design, construction, testing, labeling, and safe use of fixed ladders including individual rung ladders, structural steel ladders, and reinforced plastic ladders. The standard is intended to promote ladder safety and reduce the risk of accidents and injuries associated with ladder use. What are key safety points of according to ANSI A14.3? 1. Materials. Ladders should be made of materials suitable for the intended use and environment. Structural steel ladders should be made of steel that meets specified criteria for strength and durability. Reinforced plastic ladders should be made of fiberglass or other non-conductive materials. 2. Rungs. Rungs should be evenly spaced and parallel, with a uniform diameter and a minimum width of 0.75 inches for individual rung ladders and 1 inch for structural steel and reinforced plastic ladders. Rungs should be free of sharp edges or projections that may cause injury or discomfort. 3. Side rails. Side rails should be straight and parallel, with a minimum width of 1.25 inches for individual rung ladders and 1.5 inches for structural steel and reinforced plastic ladders. Side rails should be free of defects that may affect strength or stability. 4. Cleats. Cleats should be provided on individual rung ladders to provide a secure grip for users. 5. Spacing. Fixed ladders should be spaced to provide safe and easy access to the intended working surface. The spacing between rungs or cleats should be between 12 and 16 inches. 6. Length. Fixed ladders should be long enough to reach the intended working surface with a minimum overlap of 3 feet. 7. Angle. Fixed ladders should be set up at a 75 degree angle to the ground. 8. Landing platforms. Landing platforms should be provided at intervals not exceeding 30 feet for fixed ladders that extend more than 30 feet above a lower level. Landing platforms should be at least 2 feet wide and 2 feet long. 9. Safety Devices. Fixed ladders should be equipped with safety devices such as safety cages, safety sleeves, or ladder safety systems if they extend more than 24 feet above a lower level. 10. Load Capacity. Fixed ladders should be designed and tested to support a specific load capacity, 
which should be clearly labeled on the ladder. Users should not exceed the rated load capacity. 11. Labeling, fixed ladder should be labeled with the manufacturer's name, model number, rated load capacity, and the ANSI standard to which they conform. By following the guidelines provided by ANSI of 14.3 can help ensure that fixed ladders are constructed, used, inspected, and maintained in a safe and effective manner. It is important to regularly inspect ladders for damage or defects and to follow the manufacturer's instructions for proper use and maintenance. Users should also receive training on ladder safety and be aware of the hazards associated with ladder use. In the upcoming part 4, we shall address the ANSI of 14.4 job made wooden ladders. This is the Mastering Ladder Safety series comprises of 5 parts. Each part of the series will cover a specific ANSEL standard and provide detailed guidelines on how to use ladders safely and effectively. By the end of the series, viewers will have a comprehensive understanding of ladder safety and be able to apply the knowledge to their work or personal life. Stay tuned at my YouTube channel, The Enrican. I hope you enjoyed the video. You can ask more questions related to OHS field or suggest topics for next videos. One request to all kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel The Inner Can for more exciting videos.